Hi all, a very warm welcome to this session. Uh, in this session, we would be looking at uh, how to create a purchase order. Now, uh, the path for creation of a purchase order is logistics. This is SAP menu on SAP menu logistics. Expand the node. Under this, you have metals management. Expand the node. Under this, you have purchasing. Expand the node. Under this, you have purchase order expand the node you have create option so i'm going into create now you can see that there are four ways to create a purchase order you can create it when if you have if you know the vendor or the supplying plant if vendor un is not known if you know a purchase requisition and there is already a requisition existing so with the requisition if you would like to create then you have uh, multiple variations uh, now this is the most commonly used uh, usually in any organization you either use a background job to create the purchase orders uh, but then there are options where you create even manually so even you should know how to create manually now for that click on ME21N now the screen this comes up automatically uh, now this is uh, the creation of a purchase order now the same screen you can even come through the command command screen by typing the transaction code uh, ME21N let's see I am going back and then I'm going to type in ME21N and then you can see here that this is bringing me to the same screen of creation of a purchase order okay and now uh, there are a couple of things which will be mandatory fields when you're creating any document so let's see now I'm going to give the vendor 1000 and then i'm not going to give anything uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give my material number and the purchase quantity say around 100 and then i i'm not going to give any further detail what i'm going to do is now press enter so the very first thing it says that purchasing organizations at double zero eight not defined oh okay uh, so i have got certain default values so it is picking up my default values so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these. Now uh, I'm going to give my purchasing organization as 1000, purchasing group as triple zero, company code as 1000, standard ones. And then I'm going to press enter. Now you can see again, it's asking for the plant. So I'm going to plan, enter the plant. The moment I enter the plant, it immediately says enter storage location. So I'm going to enter the storage location. And now it says a scheduling agreement exists for this material. Uh, okay, I mean there is already one agreement which has been which uh, which is already created uh, between uh, these two uh, for this plant uh, for the same material. So definitely, little system will definitely prompt that there's a scheduling agreement which is existing. So nothing to worry. I'm just going to change the material. Now it says that net price has picked up everything now i'm going to do a check quick check on this so for that what you need to do is purchase order check so it says no message generated item 10 net prices everything is right i say okay and then what i have to do is just i have to press Control s or save button so the moment i click on it save so this is my purchase order that has been created right so thank you for watching this video please do subscribe and like us